Hi, I'm Ringo. The security team asked me to check if you are following our organization's policies. There are several ways to create obstacles for attackers. One of them is to create multiple layers of security for both your personal and work accounts. Many services provide an additional step called multi-factor authentication to verify your login credentials in your security or privacy settings. Multi-factor authentication requires an external mechanism to validate your login credentials. It combines a piece of information only you know with a code sent to a device in your possession or a tool that verifies your physical identity. For example, you can provide information by answering a specific question confirming something only you know. You can also use biometric or facial recognition to verify your identity. Google Authenticator and Authy are examples of multi-factor authentication apps. They generate a one-time code for each login attempt and refresh after a short time. In addition to this method, receiving a PIN via text message is also possible, but it is not recommended as it is easier to hack. Let's say an attacker got access to your account information after a data leak. With multi-factor authentication enabled on your accounts and devices, it is still possible for an attacker to get past your defenses. But it sure is a lot more work than simply using your leaked password. Follow your organization's policy when setting up multi-factor authentication. If you have any questions, please ask. And if you notice something suspicious, report it immediately.